Last Happy Endings by Carol Ann Duffy and Jane Ray. The witch lived in the trunk of a dead tree in the darkest, thorniest part of the forest. When she had first opened the sack of Happy Endings, she had been furious. They were worthless to a witch. They were boring and stupid. She had flung the sack into the corner of her lair and gone out again to bite the head off any small bird she could catch and crunch its beak between her long yellow teeth. But tonight, the witch had decided that she was going to burn the sack of happy endings to make a fire for herself. She was going to dance around the fire and shout out terrible bad words and then drink poison berry juice, her favorite tipple by the way, and smoke a clay pipe. So she hugged the sack outside, added a few dried leaves and twigs, then spat it down and began to rub two sticks together to make the spark to light the fire. Her straggly white hair hung in front of her walnut face as she did so. Before long, the rapid movement of her witchy hands made a spark. Then another and another. The witch leaned over and, still rubbing, went to start the fire. As she did so, the spark left from the stick and jumped out onto a lock of her frizzy old hair. There was a dreadful burning smell and woof! The bad old woman's hair was on fire. She shrieked horribly and stood up, beating out her head with her hands, but the flames jumping onto the sleeves of her old black frock and dyed them all orange.